RS Adventures Thanks. Sprinter. Diesel, turbo. What is it? It's a Mercedes-Benz uh, turbo diesel, and it's on a Freightliner chassis, and Mercedes-Benz engine, and... They lied and registered it in New Hampshire just so they could uh, not pay the tax. It's in Julie's name. See, he didn't even know these doors went like this, I don't think, honey. No, Tim, but we can't get a... We registration in Massachusetts for new vehicles. Yeah. Honey, Registry's closed. Those right. are magnets. Those things on the side. I said, how come one's on the other side? He said, oh, they probably, because they had a cap. That's a magnet to hold this thing open well, like this. Okay. So, where do you want to start? At the top? Well, we'll go, in, we'll go in and take a look. Give us a little uh, commentary. Well, okay, it, um, it actually seats for, sleeps for. Uh, but we have nice wood panels. I'm taking my suitcase back. <laughs> get it out of your garage. Very nice, very nice. Let me get over here. You can, I'll explain. All right. We have these seats, and they turn around. You've got air conditioning. Uh, this comes out. It's all the basic amenities of any vehicle. Of any vehicle, pretty much. Yeah. It's got a radio, you pop it out. Mm -hmm. But these seats spin around. And if it spins around, you want to maybe stand back there so you can get a view. Oh, okay, yeah. So to sleep, the fourth, third and fourth person would sleep up front. They would use that seat there. This turns around, and when it spins, there's a special mattress that connects these two mm -hmm. on a platform, and that would be sleeper three and sleeper four. The fourth seat was taken out for a special kit that the uh, previous owner purchased to make this a wardrobe and a storage. We have Ooh. the seat, we have the attachments, but this makes it a wardrobe closet. Wow. This is a table in here. You can take a look, Paul's coats. So if we wanted to install the fourth seat again, we just remove the kit. And you got a shitter in here? And this is, oh, let, me, let me unhook that. Oh wow. This is the bathroom, toilet, shower. Did you guys blow that thing up on the way up? No. Oh. And, Why um, not? But well, we used it. We went to the bathroom in it, but we no we dump, no dumps. We didn't have to. Oh. Uh, we are. We stopped at nice rest. We're gonna eat more prunes. Yeah, we gotta do that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but that has its own little vent here. Oh yeah. Plus, fart. is the fantastic fan. The fart fan. So yeah, that's it. that. That cools off the whole thing. And this, and then it also has. It has like on an airplane all of the cabinet spaces. They're like in the airplane, and you just shut it. You just shut the cabinet. This is a convection microwave. There's no oven, so there's a convection microwave. This has is a, a cutting board there. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, actually, this is this no, is the. But it has a cutting board. In it. it does have a cutting board in it. I think it's in this straw here. Oh wow. This comes out. This you can live in this thing. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a motor home. You can actually, on your taxes, declare it as a second home if you're paying. If you have a note on it and you're paying interest on it. How does this go back in? Yeah. So this goes in here, and this goes over here. So this over here, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> That's the fan. The fantasy, magical fantasy. That's just yeah, a, it's fantasy. a fantasy. All right. It's just a fantasy. There's no magic. <laughs> Um, no magic. Um, this is a this is your burner. Yeah. And it has this little drop down. No, thing. it goes the other way. It goes this so it doesn't way, hit the so uh, don't the hit the backsplash. This is a backsplash up here. Um, this is the sink. It's got a silencer. spice rack. There's a light over here, which I don't think the power's on right now. Well, and it's got a generator. It has a generator. It has a an inverter. It has an inverter for electrical so you can you can boondock so they call it boondocking camping the table legs are down here and what you could do if this cabinet wasn't here there's a hole down there and you put the leg and the table was is you saw it inside there and there's another hole back there on the floor to put the other put a table leg and you can put the tabletop underneath mm. that can all right this well, is another big wardrobe closet oh, it's got a tv back here it's got a oh, tv yeah. wow. it's got a media center this is another this was part of it's it a it's dvd a big, in there there's a big wardrobe closet here <laughs> it came with time. it all right all right and there's your uh, your air conditioner it's yeah. a full something full thermal dual thermal air conditioner sounds fancy this this is um a nightstand, but it drops down. This piece right down. here drops down, 
And then under here, under here, there's some more pieces and it connects this. So we have it as twin beds, but if you want, you use these pillows, you open this all the way yeah. and this becomes a king size bed. There is a TV, there's a media center, there's a DVD player. You got a printer in here? No, oh, not I said yet. media center, not yet. Well. Get the DVD. What DVDs you got up there? Oh, did I get the nanny? <laughs> the nanny Never. collection with Fran Drescher. I don't know this one. I took the nanny. <laughs> and I took, you bet your life, got your marks. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up this episode of There's MTP Cribs, Massachusetts Trees and Paul Cribs. Got lights everywhere. Got all these lights it. everywhere. We bought it. It had 69,000 Eyeball miles. lights. Got said Jensen speakers in the back. Got it's eyeball got lights up front. privacy shades. There's oh. two sets of shades here. One is a regular shade, and then this is the privacy shade so nobody can see it. All right. You don't want to see what happens back here. You don't want to see nothing. Nobody wants to see So if you take a view of it from this way. I don't even want to see Oh, this is the refrigerator. Here. Yep. It's got a nice big refrigerator. Look at it. Here we go. A lot of beers in there. Why are they canned goods in here? You stuck them in there. No. All right. Put <laughs> them in there. All right. Very nice. And these turn around, like I said, they're yeah. adjustable. Oh, there's another big storage here. Um, another storage, storage over here. Yeah. Lots of storage. And one of the best things that the advice that people gave us is we picked up this book called Next Exit. Never heard of it. But as you're driving, driving on the interstates, you can see, you pick the state that you're in. See what's on the next exit? Well, wait a minute. You pick the state that you're in, and then you find the route that you're on, and then it'll have every single exit and exactly what's on that exit. Be it, uh, if you have an RV, all the typing is in red if it's RV accessible, and if it's diesel gas, it'll be in red. Uh, otherwise, it's black print, and mm -hmm. but it'll tell you if it's just a hotel or if it's restaurants. It'll give you pretty much a good idea of what you have, plus every rest area. Next exit was like 15 bucks on Walmart.com. Threw it in for free. It. Oh, you bought it? No, we, I bought the 2020 edition. Oh. They make one every year. So stand back here and let them see the... Uh, the what? The, the view of it. Oh, I saw, I saw it coming in, you Can know. You the spice rack? Oh, the spice rack, yeah. Very important. And that's a heater thing, and that's another hookup to some things. I don't know. All right, well, thanks for watching this episode of Massachusetts Teresa and Paul Cribs. Road trekking. MTP Cribs. Road trekking.